That means there are a ton of new ways to play Fortnite. Since Fortnite hit the gaming scene two years ago, it's captivated millions. It's the big shot game. Everyone wants to play it. But some say it's getting gamers hooked. My nephew plays it a lot. Um, he'll spend the whole day playing Fortnite without eating. Enough for one Canadian firm to seek a class action lawsuit against Fortnite creator Epic Games. Representing two parents who say their 10 and 15 year old children are addicted to the game. It becomes unbearable at home. They won't go for dinner. Sometimes they won't shower. They won't, you know, like they, they you become, it's, it's, it's actual addiction. Beyond Fortnite, there's been a growing concern about gaming risks. Oh gosh, oh gosh. In May, the World Health Organization officially recognized video game addiction as a mental health disorder. With gaming disorder, it really says that there can be an addictive aspect to gaming. A person may be addicted to gaming if they struggle to control how much they play, if gaming takes priority over other responsibilities, and if gaming continues despite negative consequences. Is it getting in the way? Is there impairment in functioning in day-to-day -day life? In those extreme cases, experts suggest seeking professional help. There are also new rehab programs and camps focusing on tech addiction. Setting boundaries to begin with may prevent compulsive behavior. Coolio can do. The Academy of Pediatrics recommends under 30 to 60 minutes of gaming on a school night and under two hours on a non-school night. Recommendations for gameplay in a healthy way. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News.